you landing? What's going on? Sir? You doing good over there? Sorry, sir. I had, I had issues with comms. Gamex, he asked you to get out of the, the seat and drive him up on the Osprey. Oh. I, I, I was snoozing. Okay, sir. Whoa, nice, easy. I don't want to smash your legs in. Hello, Kmax. Good to see you again, sir. Back to the eternity with you and me. Uh, Macra, continue your <laughs> orbit pattern. Confirm, sir. Oh. Yeah, I don't... They've been busy up, up They've there. They've been very busy. The eternity's <laughs> roof has been turned into a giant welder pit. Oh, amazing. All right. You have a better track record with these things. Get us I, back to the E. Sir, I don't have a coordinate for the E. Uh, straight up. Stand by. Good lord, look at the amount of craters around Cutlass Base. Like it's been through all kinds of hell. I'm gonna miss it in a way where you don't really miss something, but you say you're gonna miss it. You don't have to be kind about it, sir. I am very tired of this place. Yeah, it's got feelings, I'm sure. Thought I would like it. This has not been our best, uh, yeah, this has been not our best planetary fall. I believe this is the first time I've been on a planet with uh, the EFN. Did you come on the moon or were you on the Eternity the whole time? No, sir, I was on the Eternity the whole time. You came up and told me how, how wonderfully cool it was down there. It was moderately cool, if we want to call it that. Holy shit, you can still see the tunnel off of our port side. It's crazy. To hand it to him, it took a lot of dedication to make that tunnel. Kind of like us in a lot of ways. I mean, they are EFN, no matter how misguided they might be. Captain Brock, this is Eternity's Advent. Come in, over. This is Captain Brock, go. Yeah. I just received a communique from Captain Roberts of the First Fleet. He's requesting an in person meeting. Oh. Uh, fuck. Yes, sir. No, don't tell him that. Uh, wait one. Tell him we're moderately busy. I'm RTB to the Eternity now. ETA five minutes. Roger that. Eternity out. Hey, Max, you got her on scopes? I am looking, sir. I don't see her. Shift left, Tony. You'll be on target. It left. Holy fucking shit, look at that tunnel. Ah, my visor must be full of dust. I finally see her. This planet has a lot of dust. <laughs> yes, it does. Well, I did learn one thing, sir. I'm definitely not a strategist. Hey, we all had a little bit of a humble pie today. I think since Warden's my roomie, before I get some, uh, get some pointers from him. The guy went... How, how did he go that far on foot? From, the, from all the way over there back to Cutlass Base. 50% <laughs> chance he found a vehicle and didn't tell anyone because he crashed it immediately, as he's done three times now. 50% chance he rocked it. <laughs> Those army guys and those search and search and rescue courses are it's fucking it's insane. It's I'm just glad I joined the navy. <laughs> oh, sorry, search and invasion. Search and invasion. What did they call it? They called it a seared steak? No, just seared. That's a sear, sear, something. I, I have no idea. You guys have got so many acronyms, I'm still trying to figure all of them out. Uh, uh, here's something that might surprise you. We don't know them either. We just <laughs> nod and smile most of the time. Oh, well, it's good to know. Good to know. I have to say, sir, my time on the Eternity so far has been very colorful. 
<laughs> that is... You sure you weren't a politician in a previous life? That is the most tactful way I've heard something like that put you. Yeah. Uh. Maybe we'll put you on comms in the future. <laughs> Ace uh. tends to yell at whoever's on the other end. You might say colorful things for the lack of <laughs> True. Uh, Alright, I'll, I'll handle this. Yes, sir. Osprey 003 coming in portside request documents. Osprey 3, this is Eternity's Advent. You are clear for approach. Door will be opening momentarily. Roger that. Osprey 003 out. I think I said one extra zero in there. An extra zero doesn't matter, sir. I think that was true with my bank account. <laughs> oh, look at that beautiful beast. It was funny. Everyone was clamoring to get off of her a week ago. <laughs> and Glad to get back. Sometimes, sometimes it needs to do that. Hey, Max, stop there. Hey, K Max, Max how are you? Uh... Uh, I think I'm going to have to get a, a physical or something, because I'm really not feeling too well. <laughs> You're not oh. feeling good. Yeah. Uh, I got yes. a solution to it, Caveman. Oh, I mean, God. Mallard gave me this juice, and it tasted like whiskey. No, 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 no. no, no that, what do you no, feel? No, no, no. What, what do you feel, Max? What's up? Every time I eat anything, it's like really crunchy stuff, and my stomach is feeling kind of upset, and... A little dizzy right okay, now too, sorry. so. A little dizzy. I, I have okay, let's get you. Seat. Let's grab a seat. Let's grab a seat. Grab a seat for me, real quick. Okay, Max. Uh, no, I don't. I don't just have the apple so, cider. It's just an empty bottle. So just so it. you. All right. So start by checking out for anything that's got neuro shit. So just uh. Yep. Okay. All right, I might get you off to med bay. Uh, Marcus? Yeah? Are you able to watch him and make sure he doesn't shove his hand? Actually, no, I said I'd take care of you. All right, Ross, we're done in the hangar. We're going back to med oh, bay. I didn't get to work around the hangar. I'm not that yeah, but, 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 but K-Max is in bad shape, and he and Vera, Vera needs all the help he can get to get K-Max to where he needs to go. Oh, you want to give me a hand? Okay. Yeah, come on, K-Max. Let's, all right, let's, K -Max, let's get you. Let's get you to med bay real quick. Alright. I'll, I'll walk behind you guys. That way I can leave when we're done. Marcus, you want to keep an eye on him? Yeah, I'm right behind you. No, I'm right Frost. behind you, Marcus. Frost, I need, I need your help with this, so I do need okay. you to stay. Get a hold on to this I for a second. Might, I think it might be more drunk than me there. You want help from a drunk man? Listen, I'm a okay. con. I'll take whatever help I can get. Damn, okay, you are in bad shape. Didn't hey, start uh, hitting me until we got back. I think that planet he... has a gravity sickness. Oh, grab it, grab it, grab it. Lay down on the bed real quick. Hey, Marcus, okay. uh, could you get him some food Frost? too? He might need it or something to drink. Sip on. Frost, Frost, you want to sit down real quick for me? Just please. Okay. Thank you. I'll, I'll sit down. Appreciate. Sure. So, uh. K okay, Max, you said that it happened after you started eating something, or? Well, it just it's been increasing over the last couple of days. It's just everything tastes crunchy. Everything really tastes gritty. crunchy. Okay. Everything's gritty. Got it. Okay, so let's see. This this I'm might starting. be a dumb question, but did you ingest sand somehow? I think it's I think it's almost impossible to not have ingested sand. It's not a dumb question, though. It's true. It's not I a dumb question. <sighs> okay. That's very. We'll, we'll very rule fun. out a. We'll rule out a few other things first, like because you know, Sand World North Ohio, aka wherever the fuck we are, is pretty inhospitable. Okay. So you said that it's uh you've been, 
having it for the last couple of days, it's slowly been building up, it's making you feel nauseous, and you're now feeling dizzy. Yes, and the dizziness started just as I got out of the Osprey, I don't know. I wouldn't think that the gravity would have an effect, but I don't know. Alright, so let's have a look at this real quick. Uh, I, I'll grab a couple of bloods off you, hope you're not afraid of needles. Nope. Uh, uh, I don't make needles, I need to... Warden's my roommate, uh, I can't be afraid of needles. No, I'm actually fine, I need to... I actually need to go... I don't, I don't like being anywhere near needles. Yeah. Frost? Uh -huh. I tried. Frost. I tried. No, I'm I'm Frost. I'm so I'm sober now. Just just go. Just just go. I don't like needles. Yo, you uh -huh. monkeys. We need we need guns. Uh, we need people in the hangar and we need just a show of force so uh uh first fleet and cons don't start shooting each other. Alright, got it. Does that mean me as well or should I stay on the on the helm? Uh you, you go too. You okay. go too. Looking for guns now. Uh, do we have guns. anybody? Do we have anybody else who is available? Marcus is handling them, so no, he's not available. I have a gun from the surface, so I'm on my way. And yeah, and Frost is a uh, uh, hammer beyond belief. And he's Frost running to go grab a gun. No. <laughs> he is not that drunk anymore. Guns are in the armory, if I remember correctly. Just, just I don't know. Talk, talk funny, but yeah, just stand there and look menacing. Okay, so, so stop That's gonna be talk funny. like this, but stand up. Where are all the guns? <laughs> oh, yeah, for some reason, all the guns are missing from the armory. Um, uh, fuck Are you hell. saying I'm the only one with a gun? <laughs> Great. Or, fuck. Captain Roberts. You always make the mistake. You always make the mistake. Shut the fuck up. In all fairness, your suit is kind of gray. You know, it's a lot better when you start off with graveyard. What? Grave? Captain. It's been a while. It certainly has. Speaking of which, why are you both at war? We've not been out of the system all that long. I mean, I, it's been, what, two weeks? How are, How is the whole system at war? How, how is that possible? Well, quite frankly, I've been wondering why First has an interest in a Reach affair, but... Well, oh, we are currently coming. stationed within the Outer Reach. We yes. Have... You seem to be the only ones happy with that. Oh, you're not happy with being here? We're not happy with you being here, but... I understand that. Point. I don't think you do. I don't think you can. You're literally the people who sent my grandmother to die. I don't think you can understand how unhappy people are with the mere Back that you're back. Well, I can't do anything to change the past. I you can, can make stay damn well away. sure the future will be a lot better for every family in Pioneer. We don't want your future. I didn't say it would be my future. I shouldn't put words into my mouth. God damn you and your pathetic fucking reasoning. Hard to listen to it. God feck you and your stupid insipid gentlemen and graceful gentlemen, gentle, gentle ladies. I'm not very gentle, but okay. People, Captain Roberts, why are you here? Uh, I wanted to discuss the war, but I'm sure you already know all about it. I, I don't think you need another perspective. My other reason for coming here is the. PFF. You've been dealing Good. with them. Let's I, put a I pin in that. KU, why are the KU showing up here? Why are you really showing up here? We're not very complicated people. It genuinely is. You seemed like you needed help, and we wanted to help. All right. We do need your help. We need the cons help. We need the First Fleet's help. In fact, we need everyone's help. This PFF threat has the potential to grow out of control. Now, I'll be real. Holy shit, the PFF have a strong, compelling point. You people cannot stop fighting for one goddamn second. 
It's insufferable. But they need to be stopped. They are all that is wrong in this world. They need to be stopped. I, the EFN I, cannot do it alone. I know where you're going with this, Captain, but I'm not sure cooperation is... Well, it might be possible, but it's probably one of the worst ideas I've ever heard. No Captain. offense. Roberts, I mean, there's too many captains here. There's a lot of captains here. Always I once captains. told you that if the first was willing to stand in the light of death, see yourselves like we do, then I'm not your enemy. I'm never gonna like you. You threw my grandmother into space. Most of my family are dead. And, frankly, the past is dead, and I'm more concerned with a future for this system. Brock? I fought the PFF already. They took a civilian freighter in Khan space and started massacring the people on board. I told them, before Khan stormed the ship, that we'd put them in the ground. And if it means cooperating with this with the first fleet, I personally don't care who I'm fighting with, so long as we're fighting them. Well, I'll be frank. You're gonna have to do some convincing, Captain Roberts. Both of you, in fact, are at war right now. This may be something you don't phone home about, and we may have the ships to do it. As tricky as it may be to pull off, and God knows we'll have a lot of uh, disagreements. Like I said earlier, it's it's possible. I'd be willing to lend my hand. Roger that. The PMA might be a hard convince, but there's there's people in the cons who I think could lend us a few stronger ships than just the stealth corvettes we've got out there. Regardless I, in fact, of what think we've stealth got corvettes are exactly what we need right now. Oh, I was talking okay. with the XO on the way up. We did track a rough vector of fleeing uh, PFF personnel. That okay. may be the head of the beast, the head of the Hydra, if you will. That's I, matter entirely. I, I intend to go after them. Don't let them rest. We've been on the back foot this entire time. We we don't know what we've been doing, but now, now I think I may be onto something. We might be onto something here. The three of us, three of the group of people that hate each other most, together, we might be able to put the end to the PFF. We have to put the end to the PFF. And after that, we can finally get back to putting this system together. If it's still to go, or if it's still, the pieces are still there. Ooh. I we have to work fast then. Your factions right now are at each other's throat. If we don't do this fast enough, there may be no system to come back to.